Penguins, how are we today? Today is Monday and today I'm going to do a little bit of a change. Instead of having a song today, we're going to have a story and it's called Super Cat's Road Safety Story. And the reason we're going to be reading this today is over the week, we're going to be doing some bits about keeping ourselves safe when we go outside. And that is normally with a parent. And one of the biggest things you have to remember is you have to stay with your parent. We're going to listen to what Supercat says in our story and see how we keep ourselves safe. So first of all, we are going to meet some of the characters in our story. So. First off, we have oh, we have Sam. Then we have Mia, and over here we have Daddy and Granny, and then of course in the middle we have Super Cat. So, to start off our little trip and our little story about keeping safe, we're going to be with Supercat. Now, Supercat, that's what they call me. And do you know why they call me that? Because I'm a cat and I have super senses. Don't worry. I use my super senses for good. I use them to help the children to stay, to stay safe on the roads. The only thing is, it is a very busy job to keep all of the boys and girls really safe. And I need some super kitten helpers. Will you help me? If you're going to if you're going to help me, there's some think very important you need to learn. My road safety rack. If my super senses ever pick up the scent of anyone, someone about to get into trouble near a road, I race to them quick as a flash. I strike my super pose. Hero pose, and I say, Super Cat's here, so say meow. Want to cross the road safety? I'll tell you how. First, you stop and then you look from side to side, then you listen. Then you think, that's Super Cat's guide. Perfect. Now you know my Super Cat road safety wrap and can come and help me. Come on, Super Kittens, let's go. I can smell trouble ahead. Oh wow, what sort of trouble are we going to find? And are we going to help Super Cat? On a street not far away lived a little boy called Sam. Sam lived with his daddy and his granny. Sam's daddy had to work a lot so his granny normally looked after him. Sam was very lucky. His best friend Mia lived just across the road and they played together all the time. Oh, look, they are, look, see. Granny's keeping an eye on them as well. And there they are playing. One sunny Monday afternoon, Sam and Mia were playing football together in Sam's front garden and Granny was reading her magazine. Mia accidentally kicked the ball a little too hard and it flew straight past Sam 
onto the road. Stan, Sam started to chase after the ball and was about to step into the road when suddenly Supercat appeared. Sam was so startled by Supercat's appearance that he stopped just in time. Super cats here, so say meow. Want to cross road safely? I'll tell you how. First you stop and look from side to side. Then you listen and think that's the super cat guide. Super kitten, do you think Sam should run out? into the road and to get his football do you think do you think should he run out into the road it was a good job super cat stopped sam when he did because the car was going very fast down the road super cat explained to sam that it is never safe to run into a road he told him be that before we cross any roads, we always need to stop, look both ways, listen for traffic and think whether it's safe to cross. Sam thanks Supercat for saving him. A few days later, Sam and Mia were very excited as they walked with Granny to the park. The minute they saw the park, they wanted to cross the road to get to it. Sam's granny told them they needed to wait until they got to the zebra crossing to cross the road. Just for a second, Sam imagined a real zebra crossing the road. A zebra? Asked Sam, confused. A zebra? Not a real zebra, laughed Mia. Not a real zebra when cars and motorbikes see you at the zebra crossing. They stop and let you cross. Mia pointed to the black and white stripes painted on the road and explained to Sam that the zebra crossing help us to cross the road safely. So here we have our zebra crossing, look. There we go. So, when Sam and Mia got to the zebra crossing, they were about to walk straight onto the road when suddenly Super Cat appeared again. Super Kittens, do you think that's safe for Sam and Mia to step straight onto a zebra crossing on the road? Straight away without stopping or looking? Or listening or thinking. Super Cat explained to Sam and Mia that the zebra crossings are a great thing. They do help you to cross roads safely, but sometimes people in cars may not see you and they may not stop. Super Kittens, can you remind Sam and Mia of what they have to do every time before we cross the road, even if there is a zebra crossing? Do we remember the Super Cat's safety wrap? Super Cat's here, so say meow. What a, to want to cross the road safely? I'll tell you how. First you stop and look from side to side. Then you listen and think. That's a super guide. A few days later, Sam and his granny were walking home from the shops. This time, granny said they would cross at the Pelican Crossing. Even though Sam knew she didn't mean a real pelican, he still managed, he still imagined one. Sam knew that a pelican crossing, at a pelican crossing, there are traffic lights, and when a, and when he pressed a special button, he had to wait for the red man to turn green. Super Cat 
was watching very closely. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Super kittens, Where, when Sam sees a green man appear, what do you think he should do? Hmm. Thankfully, Sam remembered Super Cat's advice and when the green man appeared, he used his super sense of sight, looking both ways, and he stopped and waited for cars before crossing the road. So he remembered Super Cat's rap. Well done, Sam. Super Cat was feeling really happy that Sam had remembered to use his super senses. But then, as Sam was halfway across the road, he let go of his granny's hand and ran the rest of the way. <gasps> My goodness! Super Cat climbed down the tree as quick as a flash and appeared in front of Sam. Super Kittens, please can you help Sam by telling him what he did that was unsafe as he crossed the road. <gasps> oh. Super Cat told Sam that he should never run across the road in case he falls over. He also told him that he should always hold his grown-up's hand when crossing roads to help him keep safe. Sam couldn't believe how clever Super Cat was. He thanked him and watched as Super Cat hurried away. When Sam woke up the next morning, it was the weekend. Sam was very excited that his daddy didn't have to work today and he could and he could take him and Mia to a football practice. Oh, to get to football practice, they needed to cross a road. As they got close, Daddy began to step out onto the road. Ooh, Super Cat was about to come to the rescue when suddenly Sam shouted, Daddy, stop! Sam's daddy was shocked. He he stopped and asked Sam, what's wrong? Sam decided he needed to teach his daddy how to cross the road safely. Stop. Any time you get to a road, you have to stop, even if it's a zebra or pelican crossing there to help you. Look. Then you have to use your super senses of sight and look both ways to see if you can see any traffic coming. Listen. Next, turn your super senses of hearing and listening to check to see if there is any traffic coming. Next and lastly is think, finally think and ask yourself, is it safe to cross? Dad was amazed and asked Sam how he knew so much about how to cross the road safely. Sam just smiled and said, my friend Super Cat and his super kittens helped me. Super Cat felt so proud of Sam and he, that he could burst. My work here is done, said Super Cat with the biggest smile you have ever seen on a cat. Super Kittens, now it is your turn to make sure your friends and family all know how to cross the road and safely. If you are ever unsure what to do, just remember my super road safety wrap and it will help you. 
super cat here, say meow. Want to cross the road safely? I'll tell you how. First you stop and look both ways. Then you listen and think. That's a super cat's guide. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, penguins. And hopefully we will all be able to go out on our own adventures soon and keep ourselves safe. But we'll be doing a bit more about road safety this week. It's pretty much the theme of what we'll be doing. Um, so um, I hope you have fun. You want to chat with your parents about that, talk to them about the story. And, and remember when you've been out and remember if you've always kept yourself safe. Have you always held on to your adult's hand? Have you always walked nicely? So kind of talk with your parents about that. And then tomorrow I'll see you again. Have a good day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.